first noticed some blood in my stool for a few months. So initially, I just uh, twice hemorrhoids until the symptoms persisted for I think probably like six months before actually I went to a polyclinic to consult a doctor. That's when we know that actually it's a stage three colorectal cancer. Understand you recently went for colonoscopy. Mm. How are you feeling? Fine. Yeah. Um, I'm afraid I've a bit of bad news to tell you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I think the colon the colonoscopy showed that there's a growth in your rectum. Okay. Okay. And which account for the cost of the bleeding so far. You understand I've been having bleeding for a few months now. Yeah, that's right. Mm. It's been okay. a while. Yeah. Um, the growth uh, based on the test is actually a cancer. Alright. Okay. Yeah. So uh so that's all we know for now. But fortunately the scan shows that the tumor hasn't spread anywhere yet. Okay, so it's still uh, a localized disease. So is it treatable? Based on the scan alone, um, it's like a stage 3 disease. Mm-hmm. So for stage 3 vital cancer, it is very treatable mm-hmm. and even corrective. Okay, so your cancer is found to be at this location, to the upper part of the rectum. Now, in order to remove the cancer, we have to remove certain portion of the rectum. Hold on. From this portion to this portion, following which we will join up together again. We'll be using a robotic to do the surgery. You'll be able to eat and pass motion as per normal. The robots allow surgeons to be able to operate in tight spaces, ensuring high precision during surgery minimizes blood loss and also ensure there's good oncological outcome. When I started the chemotherapy, uh, that's where the, I have to start dealing with the side effects. Numbness of the fingers and the toes, my diet as well. And in fact, for the first week after each chemotherapy session, I normally feel quite lethargic and then I basically lose my appetite. My lifestyle changed quite a bit. I was anxious and worried when I first learned about his condition uh, because I lost my dad to colon cancer 18 years ago in just four months. Prior to his surgery, we were doing a lot of activities together. So um, after his surgery and especially during his chemo treatment, uh, there were a lot of household chores that he can't do. He can't uh, touch water. Uh, he will feel uh, cold easily. Um, so we basically stay at home most of the time. I was mostly the one doing the, the shopping outside. A lot of things that we were doing together, I had to do it alone. Mr. So presented with a few months history of passing blood in the stools. Initially, he thought it was just bleeding from his hemorrhoids. However, due to his persistent symptoms, he went to seek help in an adolescent hospital. Mr. So subsequently underwent a colonoscopy that showed a diagnosis of rectal cancers. Based on staging scan, his cancer was diagnosed to be stage 3 rectal cancer. Subsequently, Mr. So underwent robotic surgery in an adolescent hospital to remove his rectal cancer. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Have, have a seat. Thanks. Bye. So it's been one year after your surgery. Yes. How are you feeling? Feeling okay. Mostly normal. Mm. Except when I take spicy food, there's this urge to go to the toilet more often. Mm-hmm. It's quite common after mm. a rectal cancer surgery. There's some urgency and frequency. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do take some uh, it, uh, um, increased amount of fiber mm. if you think you need to uh, reduce the frequency. I uh, have some good news for you. The scan at one year that we mm-hmm. done recently showed there's no cancer at all. Mm-hmm. It's completely clear of cancer. Mm-hmm. There's no recurrence of disease. Good. Okay. okay. Um, it can be very lonely.
The caregiver it can be very lonely, um, especially doing things all by myself, and at the same time have to uh, make sure he's comfortable during the chemo treatment. So my advice um, is that uh, always seek help if you need, um, and uh, yeah, just make sure that you have all the support you need. Well, say do stay positive throughout the whole treatment, and then trust the healthcare system, and I believe all will be well. Then, if you do experience any similar symptoms, do go for early screening. Colorectal cancer is one of the most common cancers affecting Singaporean men and women. However, it still remains the leading cause of cancer-related death in this country. And for patients who have undergone surgery for colorectal cancers, we encourage them to continue surveillance colonoscopy and adopting a healthy lifestyle and diet. Ministry of Health encouraged all individuals as above 50 years old to undergo uh, some form of screening. In Mr. So's case, he has not reached 50 years old, um, but in his case, because there is persistent symptoms, it was very wise for him to seek help early. We are thankful to the medical team, um, to Dr. Wong and his team, and also uh, Dr. Inis Bong, uh, for taking good care of uh, my husband.